Medical Tourism Corporation Network Board Certified IVF Expert in Mexico educates on minimal stimulation IVF with the vitrification technique. IVF can be divided in practically four different stages. The initial one is survival stimulation, the second one is the act of action, the third one is the lab work for fertilization, and the last one is embryogenesis. Traditional IVF uses a lot of injections and medications aiming to produce around 10 eggs for a collection. Then a collection uh, lab works happen. Once we have the embryos, or the eggs which have fertilized, then embryos are transferred back to the woman uh, uterus. With minimal stimulation, what we aim with this new philosophy on uh, doing reproductive medicine is to be as close as possible to nature. We don't mind about the number of eggs that we might retrieve. What we aim for is great quality. Good egg quality is allowing better fertilization rates, and this also means better quality embryos and chances of achieving a healthy pregnancy. By giving less medications, we also offer less discomfort, less risk, and less cost. And again, without compromising results. As I was just saying, you know, simulation is a whole different philosophy, and our goal is not only for for you to achieve a positive primary step. What we aim for is for our patients to have a healthy baby after the whole process. So we are not willing to transfer five embryos at the same time because we aim again to change patients' life for good. So we transfer one, two embryos usually at the most. And this is uh, at the end a decision, a patient's decision. We're here to provide with information, but they have to be aware that more embryos in one single embryo transfer doesn't mean they have a high chance of achieving a pregnancy considering the cryopreserving techniques that we use. I'm going to put two different examples. If you if your ovaries were uh, a lemon tree and you use traditional idea that would be like giving a very hard shake into the tree. You will get mature fruits and you will get immature fruits. And you might even have the leaves coming down, falling down. With minimum stimulation, we only give a light shake. So only the mature fruits would fall down, which are the ones that we need to use. Now, when we compare or how we explain to patients why we don't like transferring as many embryos as other units. Imagine that embryos are a generation. Imagine that you have a generation of school that is an outstanding generation. If you put everyone at the same time in the same environment, if it's a good environment, there is a very good chance that all embryos would implant at the same time. If it's a bad environment, then you have a chance of wasting all these embryos. However, if you split the chances and you have a good environment, then you will have a good pregnancy with one or two embryos at the most. If it was a bad environment, then you would lose one embryo. And you have a second chance to transfer embryos in a better environment. If embryos are from a bad generation and you put them at the same time in the same environment, chances are they will all go to waste. However, same as with people, People from a bad generation, if they are put in the right environment, they can become very productive and very good people. And the same with embryos. All they might need is a change in environment. And, a bad gen and an embryo from, from a bad generation put in the right environment might, all, might be all the different that is needed for this pregnancy. So that's why we believe that more embryos is not always a high chance of pregnancy. At first, uh, people who are IVF units used to like this idea of putting more embryos because they didn't have a reliable time for certain technique. With vitrification and the chances of embryo survival, we don't mind about pressing embryos. A frozen embryo behaves once the embryo survives the pressing and following process with the 
justification, the Emperor behaves uh, as if nothing had happened, with the same chance of achieving a healthy ground. Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world-class international hospitals and clinics. Fill out the estimate request form on our site, medicaltourismco.com, for a free quote and more information.